Hey guys, it's Fleckas. This week we're at the Pride Parade in West Hollywood. We're going to ask some questions about some stuff and see what people say. Where's the message of the day? I love. Love everyone. Accept everyone for who they are, their differences, their inequalities. Like, just tolerance and love and acceptance. That's totally what Pride is all about. Alright, so this is Fleckas Talks. He has a channel. And he's pretty popular. Um, and he says that he's a Christian. He has claimed it more than once. And, you know, his show does put out some good information sometimes. But is this the message that we're really supposed to give off as Christians? I'm not perfect, okay? But when you have the the pedestal, when you have a platform like him, as a Christian, should you be telling people, yeah, yeah, you know, we just accept accept everything, you know, accept you know, homosexuality and that lifestyle is a good choice. That's pretty much how Fleckus speaks. Um, that's not the message that you're supposed to be putting out. So you have, you have to make a choice. Do you Are you trying to get people saved? Or are you trying to entertain people? Or are you trying to get somebody else in office by having people vote a certain way? You know, I think Fleckus needs to choose a path on why he's doing this. Okay, and, and if you're doing it, your ultimate goal is to get people saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, then he would have to change his message. You can't just say, accept everything. That's great. Being gay is awesome. Now, you can't put that message out there if your goal is to try to bring people closer to God, the true God of the Bible. So I think that's what the uh, the deal is here. And... So by if any chance Fleckus sees this, which I doubt, but if he does, um, take in, into consideration what I'm talking about, but I really doubt that he would ever <clears throat> actually start saying that, you know, this is not acceptable. Now, when I say it's not acceptable, that's coming from a biblical point of view. You see, this goes back to, again, Fleckus choosing what is his real goal here? Is it to get people closer to God and to know God, to be saved? Or is it just to look at it from a earthly perspective and, you know, we're on earth and just everybody, as long as we get along, your lifestyle is a good choice. You see, that's an earthly perspective. That's not an eternal perspective. And the two messages are opposed, you see. So the two messages do not go together at all. So if your main goal is to bring people to God, then it can't be what you're saying right now. And as a Christian, that is supposed to be your main goal. Because we realize that this life is simply almost like a proving ground or a testing ground if there was such thing as purgatory somewhere in between heaven and hell, this would be it. So we understand that this life is supposed to be to get to know God and to be servants of righteousness. So with that being said, if he's claiming to be a Christian, that should be his main goal. But this message that he's putting out that says, this lifestyle is a great choice. There's nothing wrong with it. Just everybody live like that. It's okay. That is not the correct message that he should be putting out as a Christian. So again, I'm not getting hard, down hard on Fleckus, but I am breaking it down <laughs> fairly. Now again, if you want to preach a worldly perspective... An earthly perspective, then keep on saying this, that it's all great and acceptable. But if you say you're a Christian, which you do, then your message should change. 